All right, what's going on guys? It's your boy Zilchi. Welcome back to another solo leveling arise video. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at a tier list or we're going to be making a tier list, I should say, on the best characters in the game uh, where I rank all these units. So if you guys do enjoy this video, hit that like button, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you agree with the list. If you hate it, just let me know. We'll take a look. Okay, first off, we're going to be talking about the useless section here. I just went online and I searched up uh, create a solo leveling arise character tier list and this popped up. So we're going to be using it and they have pretty good um, uh, sections here. So first we're going to put characters in the useless section. These are characters that I think is absolutely trash. Okay, so we have this guy that is absolutely awful. I literally never used him besides for the story mode side mission where you, you're forced to use them. This guy is also trash. All right. The only good thing about them is that they are wind and a lot of, there's like a lot of um, section in this game where it requires wind characters and you get these ones pretty quickly too. So if you don't have the other ones, I guess they're good for wind. Other than that, they're kind of trash, okay? Because the game gives you this guy who's actually, is decent, okay? He's actually decent. We're going to take a look at him later because I want to do the SSRs afterwards. So for now, I think those three, well, this one too, this guy, in my opinion, it's kind of trash. Okay, very trash, but these three are now useless. Next, we're going to take a look at Juhi here. I do think she can be useful. That's because in the end game, she's actually very good. Like when you guys make it to the end, obviously end game of soul leveling Arise that we have right now, her heals actually does come in clutch. Like she actually does help a lot. Um, she's also a very good uh, HP buffer. It's just her damage is just not there, right? You like. And there's other healers in the game that's better. Well, there's healer in the game that is just much better. She is useful for end game. But if you have the other one, you're, out, you're probably going to be running that instead. And it's this guy. He's very, very good. Again, we, we will be taking a look at the SR separately. But for now, I think Juhi is over here at the C. Can be useful a bit. Um, yeah. Uh, good. She's good. She's very good. She actually does decent amount of damage. Uh, that's... Pretty much she is water as well so again if you don't have the water units she's a good option she does a lot of damage and that's pretty much it she does damage she's good um who else would i put in the good section uh this guy is good i'll put him above here actually uh he's good for i used him to beat the igris fight and the double dungeon boss fight because you need a light character and he gives a shield and his break ability actually breaks pretty quickly Okay, next we will be putting her over here uh, in front of him actually. Can I not change that? Okay, there we go. Right there. She's she's good. Um, she cleansed the team. She takes away the debuffs that the team has basically. The, the only issue I have with her is that obviously it's the same issues that I have with the rest of them as well. They just don't do enough the damage. Uh, obviously getting rid of the debuffs that you get, like let's say you're playing against Igris. I'm going to use Igris a lot as an example because he does debuff you as well. Uh, you can use her ability to get rid of your uh, UD boss. So she doesn't do enough damage in my opinion. But the ability to get rid of those, pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, next we will be in the very good section here. First, I think I want to put... Okay, so this is what we're going to do, right? Because now we're at the SI. So he's going to be the first one. And that is because of his bleed. He does a lot of damage, first of all. And his bleed is just insane. You stack that... Uh, with his fast movement uh, he's basically just a little bit weaker version of the new uh silver main that just came out okay he's very very good because of that bleed uh we have who else do i want to put uh, we have him actually no i'm gonna put her next because she literally she freezes the opponent and she also has a break ability as well as you're freezing him so she's very good again she's a water type as well she's if you know Sayo. She's just a little bit weaker version of Sail. Um, she freezes and she does break. So that's very valuable in my opinion. Next, then we have Dong Suk. Dong Suk, uh, first of all, he's dark. So if any, literally any stages out there that you needs a dark unit, you don't have like a very good dark unit, for example, like Kang, he's a good replacement because he does have break abilities, I'm pretty sure, and he stuns. So that's pretty good. And he does... Uh, get health over time i believe it's one in one of his passes but it only activates once so i'm gonna put him there uh he's very good as well he does everything in the game he you know i'm actually gonna put him at good uh he does everything like his he heals breaks 
I actually don't know if he stuns, but I know he heals and breaks. He he does a lot, but that's because um, I have him at good because of the fact that he's not a master of one specific thing, right? Like if he heals, it's not that much. If he stuns, it's not that much. You know what I mean? So I'm going to put him at good. He is useful, but just not at very good, right? Um, this guy, I'm going to put him at uh, the end of very good here. And that is because he's supposed to be a ranged unit. Um, he, he actually does. He has ranged attacks that can clear out a mob of people. But for the most part, they focus mainly on his his fighting style with the uh, with the sword and stuff. right? But he does have ranged attacks. So he's actually not bad at all. So you can clear out mobs with him. I put him at very good. He does decent damage too. I will also put her in the very good section. Just slightly above this guy. That is because... She does uh, poison damage, and she is very synergetic with burn characters. So Choi and Emma, for example. So they're very good. This is the SR tier list here. This is what I have. I don't think any of them are... Uh, you know what? I'm tempted to put this guy up here, okay? I, I am tempted to put him up there. He's actually very, very good. He's OP. I'm going to put him OP because his bleed and damage is insane, and he's very, very fast. You guys don't understand. His daggers are just... Top tier. Okay, so now we're going to be taking a look at the SSRs, okay? So, first of all, we're going to put this guy, he's at good, and we're going to put this guy at good as well. Honestly, I haven't used them enough to tell you, well, I do have them, but I haven't used them enough to tell you exactly how good they are, but I do know that they're just not in OP and broken. Um, we're going to go to the OP section. I'm going to put... Here, oh wait, yeah, there. He's above him. Libra is up there, and I'll tell you guys why in a second. And I'm gonna put this guy here as well. Um, so Bayek is there or Beck is there because he's his break is insane. I think he does the most break damage in the game first of all, and he takes off more of those bars off the shield than any other unit in the game. And it's actually the same with Emma as well. So I'm gonna put her there. You can put, in my opinion, you can put both of these like an OP up top right here. Either one of them can be interchangeable, but um, that's why they're there. Uh, his ult also does a lot of damage, and she's just very good with Choi. Uh, she does burn damage, and he scales off burn damage as well. Like he does more damage over time with the unit being burnt or the enemy being burnt. So next we have this guy here. He does a lot of damage. Uh, he's one of the highest damage dealers in the game. His skills are just insane. The only issue I have with him is when you're loading, it like hits, sometimes his get him the tactic a little bit to hit because of the the bone arrow and stuff, right? But when you do hit, he does a lot of damage. Uh, he is and he does do the most damage in terms of like a single target damage. He does the most damage. So yeah, he's very good. Uh, Libora also very very good she shines mainly because she's a dark buff and over time she some her summons do damage as well uh you really want to utilize her with other dark units right so you want to stay inside her circle that she summons you utilize her uh, dark buff ability so she's very good for this guy as well the only issue is that obviously there's not too many dark units in the game but because now he's now here he actually does well off of that as well so we can go here that's who, oh, she's also an OP as well. I'll put her just a little bit before this guy right here. She's very good. She gives a shield and she can spam skill break. Like, it's actually ridiculous. If you have her with a lot of mana, she breaks on all her skills. Uh, even when she's doing her basic attack, at the end of it, she does break. And her shield that she gives you lasts a little bit. I think if you get enough dupes, it like uh, increases over time, but she's very good. Uh, infinite skill user here so that's pretty much the OP section uh, I'm gonna put him at broken because he's the number one damage dealing unit in the game I'm gonna put him at broken as well because of his bleed plus the second highest DPS in the game and his bleed is just top tier yes that's what I'm saying bleed is a very good mechanic in this game all right I was broken before they nerfed it a little bit but it's not too bad if you use your shadows with him, because Igris also does a bleed, so it's very good. 
Uh, I'm gonna put him here. I'm gonna put him at OP, I think. I'm gonna put him at OP because he does give a good buff to the team and he's a great healer. Uh, he does alt buffs as well, I'm pretty sure. He just basically, he just buffs the entire team. And that's very good. All right, guys, that is the tier list here. Let me know what you guys think of it. If you agree or disagree, let me know in the comments. Uh, again, this is my opinion. Obviously, there's other tier lists out there that's probably a lot more accurate. But this is from what I've been using in the game and what I've seen. So, yeah. If you guys do enjoy the video, hit that like button, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.